G'day legends, it's the Lurker here. I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you guys who aren't subscribers, please consider subscribing below. I do two to three videos a day, so plenty of content for you guys to enjoy. Jake Paul. I didn't think it was fair of me to do a video on what a complete nut of fuckwit rice gum was yesterday and not cover Jake Paul as well. Jake Paul, for those of you who don't know, is another idiot who basically acts like a dickhead on camera and for some reason, little kids seem to watch it. He's also a former Disney star, so you can imagine just how many children actually watch his videos. This dickhead thought, just like Rice Garden, it would be a brilliant idea to promote and advertise this gambling website to his largely child-based audience. We'll watch some of the video now, and you guys can decide for yourself what you think of this fuckstick. Boom! If you are watching this video right now, then that means you love surprises. Everyone, pause what you're doing and I need you guys to pay attention. How do you ah! Guys, we are about to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on mystery boxes. Thousands and thousands of dollars. All right, first of all, who the fuck has thousands and thousands of dollars anyway, just at their leisure, to spend on mystery boxes? I'd be lucky to have thousands and thousands of dollars in my bank account at any given time, let alone just free to spend on fucking mystery boxes. Besides little children who this is aimed at, we all didn't get paid $300,000 to make a video about gambling, fuckstick. Allow me to explain. So uh, basically, there's this thing on the internet called mystery boxes. You buy them, you don't know what's going to be in them. They come to your house, you open it up, and it's a mystery! You could get a pile of shit, or you could get a Rolls Royce. So basically, there's this thing on the internet called mystery boxes. You have exactly 0% chance of winning a Rolls Royce. It's just not going to happen. And Jake Paul, for making that even seem like a possibility, you are a moron. This goes on for about the next five minutes where this guy just acts like a complete dickhead until he gets to opening some boxes. So let's see what happens when he actually gets to opening some boxes. What are we feeling? What, do you, what should we go for first? Some shoes? Should we try, should we try and win some shoes? Start, start small, go for the car. All right, so I'm going for the box called Hype Shoes. Uh, that one probably has the dopest shoes in there. I'm a hype beast, what can I say? Honey, yes. I might be able to win the Nike Air Mag Back to the Futures Yeezys. Off white, oh my god! Let's open it and see what we get. Okay, it's like $99. I'm gonna open it. Cut open the box, okay? Here we go! Oh, this is fun. Converse Chuck Taylor's All Star. Okay, I got Converse. Dang it. Okay, I was hoping for something better than that. Let's keep on going. I'm, that, okay, I'll take it though. I'll t you can't, yo, you can't win everything, okay? Oh! Not what I wanted! Whew. Cut the box again. I got this. I got this. Cut it. Cut it. Keep calm. Keep calm. I got bands. Hey! Okay, I got bands. I'll take the bands. Try again. I'm going again. Here we go. I love surprises. I got the converse again. Fourth time's a charm. Oh, Yeezys! Let's go! Yo, that is dope. Adidas Yeezy Wave Runner 700 Solid Gray. Let's go. So right now, everyone, four pairs of shoes. But on this stuff, if you don't, or on the site, if you don't like what you got, you can actually sell it back. So I'm selling back the Converse and the Vans. Seriously? Four goes. Four fucking goes. That's all it took him to win the $600 Yeezys. Well, okay, they are $100 boxes, so maybe you got lucky. Let's check some more out. Let's do the Apple Boy box. I feel like I could win an iPhone in that. I'm gonna go for the iPhone right now. I love how you have to cut the box. It makes it more fun. Oh, I thought I won an iPhone. Shockproof case, tempered glass. No, I'm, nope, so, so I'm selling that back. Try again, here we go. Show me the money. Apple AirPods. I'll keep that. I'll keep those. Y'all, I will never stop till I get the iPhone. I want silicone, silicone shockproof case. This box is $15 a, a time to try, but you can potentially win like iPads and iPhones and stuff. So this is like a good valued one, I feel like, because it's like 15 and then you can get iPhone. So it's like, it's like, that's dope. No, 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 no. no. Here we go. 
Apple to Lightning USB. Give me more, baby. What's in the box? More AirPod silicone cases selling those. I'm being greedy. I got an iPhone, but I want more. Metal braided lightning cable. Oh, sweet. Just what I wanted for Christmas. What's in the box? iPhone X S Max Gold 64 Gigabyte. Seven goes. Seven goes at $15 boxes to win a $1,500 iPhone. That's $105 fucking dollars he spent to win a $1,500 iPhone. In seven goes. How bad is that? Passing this off as believable to little kids as a genuine way to pretty much make money. You are a sick, low human being. Fuckwit. And besides all of that, what the fuck... Does this fuck stick? No, I've used fuck stick too much in this video. Cunt nugget. Yeah, that works. Cunt nugget. What the fuck does this cunt nugget need with a pair of Yeezys and an iPhone? He is a multi millionaire. I'm pretty sure he could afford all this shit on his own. So there is no point of this apart from to promote it as believable to little kids. And it just gets worse from there. Check it out. This is fun, man. I'm gonna mystery box more often. Alright, I already got a dope pair of shoes, but I'm gonna do it one more time and see what happens. Oh! Those are dope. Adidas NMD Human Race Super Rubber! Yeah, let's go, guys! Another feature on this site is you can create custom boxes. I've never done this before, but it says create your own box. This is where you go for the big prizes. This is where you can win vacations. This is where you can win, like, stuff that humans can't even buy. I can't! Name your box. Cereal box. <laughs> I like cereal. Tragic. Image for your box? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's start off with going for maybe an iMac. So I guess you put in the product that you want and then you put a probability percentage uh, of what the percentage is, is that this is gonna not make sense. But basically you put a percentage and when you go to open the box, that is the percent chance that you have in winning that exact product. And also the probability that you put also affects the price of the box. So if you put that, you know, 95% chance that you're going to get an iMac, it's probably going to be more expensive. Apple iMac percent chance. I'm going with 5% chance. Apple Watch, 95% chance. Box price. This one's at $1,138. I'm going to confirm and submit it. Hopefully I win the iMac. Please, Jesus. Okay, hopefully I get this iMac, but also if you create a box and you refer it to a friend and your friend opens the box and they win something, you can actually make money back. So if you set a referral profit to 3%, uh, then you can you can do it all the way up to 3% and you can actually make money back from this site. Yo, I'm actually nervous because I can actually win this, right? Like I can, like... Well, no pressure, bro. You already won some good prizes. They're going to actually mail this to me. Oh my god, okay. Confirm and submit. Cereal box opening for $1,138.43. Apple Watch! Hey! Okay, I wanted the iMac. Oh, I'll take the Apple Watch. I'll take, I'll take the Apple Watch. That's dope. Okay, I'm gonna be able to tell so much time. Should I try again for the iMac? It's kind of, it's kind of expensive. I'm gonna go for the iMac. Another thousand. We're literally spending so much money on this. If I get another I Apple Watch, I can just sell it back. Alright, I really feel like I'm gonna get an iMac from this, to be honest. Fuck, I didn't get fucking that. Ah! Alright, I'm selling it back. <laughs> this is so much fun. I'm like a little stealth man. I'm like a little traitor. Alright, so where do I start with my complete and utter hatred of this segment of the video? Well, first of all, he starts it by winning the really expensive shoes on his very first box. Like, yeah, right. That's real fucking believable. Then he moves on to explain the custom box which is complete and utter rubbish and completely unbelievable and unrealistic. It costs $1,100 just to buy the box. Who has that kind of money lying around? Who are you advertising this to? Kids at Malibu Beach. Then you either win a $750 Google Watch or a $6,000 iMac. I like those odds. And as if you're going to get $750 for a Google Watch anyway. Then after that, he goes on to talk about the referral system and how you can make money off this, you're a scumbag, mate. 
an absolute scumbag. And what I love about this video is when he talks about, oh, they're really going to send me this, aren't they? Like, he doesn't even believe his own bullshit. Anyway, after this, he spends the rest of the video basically carrying on like an idiot. He goes for a Rolls Royce and smashes some of his shit like a complete goose. I can't stomach to watch any more of his content. I would genuinely rather have a train run on me by the New England Patriots front line. But what's even worse than that, and what annoys me the most out of this entire video, is he actually references himself to Goku. That's right, the great Goku. Watch this. I don't want to be this one, I look like this guy. Don't you ever, ever talk about yourself like you're Goku again. Bag your brother out all you want, but do not ever refer to yourself as a champion like Goku. Cunt nugget. Well, that about does it for tonight's rant video, guys. Sorry for all the swearing. I hope you have a good night. Please like, share, and subscribe for more videos. And as always, don't be like rice gum. Cheers.